Philip Freiser, co-head of private equity at KKR. Welcome to an in-person event, a big one, 2,600 people here, IPEM, Paris. How does it feel to be back? Sam, isn't that an incredible experience after 18 months of lockdown and incredible restrictions on all of us that uh, where the question had been asked, will we live in the future only on Zoom to now be here with thousands of people? First of all, it makes me very happy because it does confirm that while technology is advancing a lot of things, human beings will also continue to just interact with each, with, with each other. Secondly, it makes us happy because the fact that we can do this means we're getting out of this crisis and that's really a very comforting uh, development. Well, hopefully it will stay that way. I very much agree. Just a quick question about, at your business, really. Um, let's just think a little bit about sectors to start with. What sectors do you like at the moment? Which ones are a little bit more challenging in your view? Well, Sam, it's interesting because we're in Europe here and the way we are getting out of COVID, in fact, shows that the whole crisis was an accelerator of trends that we already saw before. I think there are three main trends. The first, technology and digitalization. Everybody uh, is obviously putting their finger on that Silicon Valley and even Asia with China is way ahead of Europe. But, you know, who would have thought during COVID that people connect like they have through technology, they consume their entertainment through technology, they pay with technology. Even my mother now pays with a credit card. And that's a massive trend. So we're coming out of that. The second one is obviously it doesn't need much more explaining, you know, that through COVID people have figured that you need to invest in your health system. So anything that has to do with health services, telemedicine, massive trend. And thirdly, which is really different in Europe is, you know, you realize that in the US in terms of getting out of the crisis, people were sent checks to their homes. Here the EU got together, put together a next generation EU deal that is all centered around the new Green Deal. So the whole notion of sustainability, ESG, climate change, a massive opportunity uh, really sectorially for Europe. So, so you paint quite a confident picture of the future, actually, listening to you talking in your panel uh, earlier. What, what do you think are some of the kind of risks that people need to be watching out for? I think what we talked about just now is obviously some of the winners, but they are also losers. Uh, we all have put our finger on the fact that Amazon and others are decimating high streets. So as an investor, all the more you need to think about how these positive trends that I just discussed, how are they changing? some other, uh, you know, uh, sectoral situations. I wouldn't necessarily invest in financial services of the old in terms of bank branches, etc. Or you don't want to invest in stationary retail, probably. Now, that is an overall sectoral picture. The other, I would say, cloud on the horizon of all of this is, of course, why we have wonderful growth now which is natural in many ways because we just decimated ourselves in the last 18 months in terms of a massive crisis with double digit GDP drops. That kind of coming out in some growth also is generating some bumps in the road. So of course we have inflation right now in the system and of course uh, the question of sustainability of that growth uh, is, is asked including in interest rates which are historically very low right now. Yeah. So, so just thinking about that environment that you're, you're painting quite well for us there. Last year, I think you mentioned six billion was, was deployed, invested. This year, four billion. Hopefully I've got those numbers right. Um, does it suggest that it's getting a little bit more challenging in this environment? Um, valuations are quite full, you know, the risk of inflation, things like that. What, what does it mean for you know, smart and big investors like you? Sam, what you're describing is what KKR did that's very different from what the industry did. Last year, we have never invested as much as during COVID uh, here in Europe at KKR, but also globally. But the industry pretty much stopped investing during that time. And now it's the inverse, where people are getting the confidence that we're out of the crisis and they're leaning in. We are a little bit more cautious. We are happy that we did invest uh, during the crisis, because as Warren Buffett says, the best time to invest is when everybody else uh, runs away scared. But now you have to pick your battles to answer your question. We do believe that if you focus on those sectoral trends that I mentioned, technology, healthcare, sustainability, 
there are fantastic opportunities uh, even today. Okay. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of time. So one more question, if I may. I, I mean, all of this requires great people, presumably, to make yes. smart investments. So I'm quite interested in your, in your talent, in your human side of, of what you're doing. Have you got any thoughts and reflections on, on what, what sort of the, the challenges for the future are for your people? That's a really important question. 18 months of being locked down in your house, working from there, not seeing your friends and family, has meant that people are fundamentally re-evaluating their lives and their priorities and their purpose. All of us in private equity, in fact, all of us uh, in the world in business, have to really take account of the fact that top talent is really thinking hard about where they want to work, how they want to work. These things are fundamentally changing. That means you have to basically formulate a purpose of what you do. So the fact that we're investing in these three, th three trends and make really European companies better and the world a better place is a hugely important factor of creating a, a, you know, a, an attractive environment for top talent to want to be part of. Great. Philip, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of IPEN. You're very welcome, Sam. Thank you.